and Taurus, welcome back to the channel. We are gathered for your love message for today. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're going to be using the Moon and Stars Tarot today to pull in some romantic messages for you as per usual. See what you're connecting with or who's connecting with you on a romantic, energetic level. What's currently surrounding your energy. What's coming towards you in the matters of the heart. What can you expect in love and romance. Right. We have the King of Wands, but I think there's something hiding behind this King of Wands. The Knight of Swords. Someone may be communicating uh, passions towards you. Yeah, exactly. Passion. Now, the King of Wands is a very, very creative, very sexually mature. Um, King Dangling is what some, <laughs> this one tarot reader would call him, right? <laughs> well endowed energetically and physically. Right, it could be a fighter, a male model, or some sort of an adventurer. It could even be a, a content creator as well. Knight of Swords. It's communication. Ten of Wands, burdens. Hmm. Let's see. What is this? Someone may be communicating communicating a message of uh, sexual frustration. This could even be movement as well. Maybe someone's trying to coordinate some sort of a movement, delegating possibly. So yeah, let's get into your messages, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, our earth signs. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Spirit's already delivering messages. Let's see if we can discern them. Deliberations is what we would call it here. So no more jumpers. Any more jumper spirit in regards to uh, our earth signs today? Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. What do they need to know energetically? Who's trying to connect with them? What are their person wanting them to know in regards to love and romance? No, we're getting no jumpers. All right. Grounding the message. The Queen of Pentacles. Your queen to be... So, the matriarch shows up. The wife. Very financially stable here. A lot of uh, confidence she has. Very supportive as well. Let's see. Possibly fertile. Already here. The divine counterparts. Yep. A naturalist. This is a natural mother. Someone naturally gifted at um, providing, possibly? Or is it... um? Yeah, a business owner. She may have some sort of a natural talent for a business or have some sort of a high high value career or something like that. The King of Pentacles coming in, so it's the divine counterpart here as well, matching her energy. Um they could definitely mm, Yeah, they may be working on a business together. It, it reminds me of you know, three thirty three just passed, which is creation. So it reminds me of, and this is something that I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to start a reaction channel. <laughs> but I know how women, you know, they feel like you're not spending enough attention with them or whatever the case may be. Sometimes, like, when you have your own thing to do, and this is the problem with women, why they get bored in relationships, because they're innately boring, right? It, to be a chaotic person, but then be boring, it's just like the women are just unique creatures in that sort of way. Um... But yes, but I keep holding off on it because I would like to start a reaction channel, like a couple's reaction channel. <laughs> so that would be an idea for some of you guys out there that has like, that are in relationships or you're in marriages and, you know, if you're not into super world changing endeavors, right? You're, you're doing something that's so important that you can't take a, a two hours out of your day to you know, enjoy yourself, right? Netflix and chill. Why not record it, right? A reaction page for couples or a reaction channel. We have the high priestess, high spirituality here, spiritual awakening. This could be an occultist, someone very esoteric. Hmm. 
Now we have two kings here, a king of wands. I don't know why I thought that was his knight. We have the king of wands. Or maybe I didn't think that was a knight. Maybe that was fire signs reading. Yeah, the knight of wands showed up. You may want to watch fire sign readings here. Um, earth signs. You got the king and queen of, of the king and the kings of wands and pentacles. Divine masculine energy showing up. And then we have the queen of pentacles along with the high priestess. Maybe someone's into jewelry here. Or maybe they're into collecting crystals because they're burdened with a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Which makes it hard to move from place to place when you're carrying all this stuff. I just had this conversation with someone older than me about a half hour ago. You gotta move lightly, right? Walk light so you don't piss the ground off. There goes the Knight of Wands. Isn't that? That's crazy. <laughs> I was just talking about this card. It comes out on top of the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Someone's very spiritual here. They have a lot of spiritual gifts. Yeah, they may own they may own like some sort of an esoteric business here where they like sell crystals or maybe they're they, they work with incense or something like that. They're a naturalist. Maybe they work with teas and soups. They may even actually do actual blood work like blood magic chickens and all that sort of thing lambs yeah let's not get too deep into that going down a rabbit hole in the friggin love reading but isn't that something that best friends do like we see girls do this all the time we see guys do it uh, as well you saw this at the end of that first it movie where like they made a blood pack with each other right they all cut their hands and they all did the group hand thing even women sometimes women do blood magic as well where they have sex with their dudes on the, on their like moon cycles <laughs> four of pentacles exercising control <laughs> knight of swords Ooh. hmm the four of pentacles on top of the knight of swords what is this person trying to say here? That just someone's spending too much, or they're not spending enough. You'll know. You'll. I mean, you'll know which end of the stick you're on here. In that whole conversation or that channel message, I think someone may be spending too much here. Yeah, because now I got to clarify the Ten of Wands. That's a bunch of stuff, right? Again, a King of Pentacles and a King of uh, a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. I mean, these can definitely be again like people that like a lot of fancy jewelry, or they collect crystals. I'm not sure if there's some sort of an arch art. What do you call those people that search for bones and stuff like that, or dig for crystals? They go mining. Ten of Pentacles. On top of the ten of wands, yeah, you got you got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless you're some sort of an antique collector, I guess, right? And you have some sort of a safety safety deposit box where this stuff can never like lose its value and never get lost. Yeah, maybe someone should be investing in gold at this point. Now, the ten of pentacles is like is uh, legacy, right? It's generational wealth. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. The hangman here. Yeah, money growing over time here. Someone have, has big dreams of, yeah, just owning a lot of property, being very wealthy here. What's the romantic message? It's Pisces energy here. Maybe this person is like a dancer or a choreographer here. Possibly a DJ. Yeah, reminds me of D DJ en Envy from The Breakfast Club. Yeah, while I was in the hospital, I didn't even realize that now they have it on TV. Of course, it comes on after midnight. Yeah, but he always brags. I'm not sure if it's a brag. But he always talks about how like financially stable he is now after years of being a DJ and hosting a breakfast club. 
and um, like how he invests in a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the last thing, I, it, yeah, he was saying something about, because the question was, um, do you spoil your first child just as much as you spoil your, your, your second, third, or fourth, or your last child? And he's like, no. Yeah, like my first child, it was like my first time being a father. And, you know, you want to do all the things that, um, that you wanted to do as a child. You want to provide for your child. Or you just want your child to have those memories of when they was balling, right? Remember how VH1 used to have those shows like Sweet Sweet 16 and all that type of stuff. He was like, yeah, my first child, I spoiled the heck out of them. But guess what? They probably don't even remember half of that stuff now, right? The message here, Four of Pentacles on top of Knight of Swords. Stop spending so much. And then he's like, yeah, like subsequently my children after that, even my last child, they they're raising a rich family. So what is it that they actually need? What am I going what am I going to give them on their birthday that they already don't have? Like I might as well put that money to the side for them <laughs> instead of doing the same dumb shit I did for my first child, trying to throw them this over exuberant um this this like over wildly birthday parties. Like you know like celebrities like to try to one up each other with their parties, right? So next here, let's clarify the high priestess. Ace of Wands, again, high spirit, high amounts of spirituality is the same thing that was in Fire Signs reading. New beginnings, someone could be getting initiated, right? Like how the queen knighted people. Someone could be getting initiated, like, um, could be getting initiated by a, by an oracle or something like that, like a passing down of sacred knowledge. There is, there is sexuality here as well. But this could be opening up someone's sacral chakra, like teaching someone how to meditate or channel. Right? Like one of my, f f one of my first. Again, I've been watching tarot for like maybe six years now, and like yeah, again, one of the four first courses that I took. Right, this would be like she would be kind of like my fairy godmother, <laughs> Lulu over at the House of Oshun. Right, I think I posted a, um, one of her videos yesterday in the all red. It's, and it's rare that I see any of these people wear red. So when I wear, when I see people wear red, which is a symbol of power or like the blood, 1212 um, power, you usually see the emperor dressed in red. Yeah, I know that it's something, it was something important. But yeah, like, and again, like, it's weird to see black folk, right? Oh, we didn't know black folk were so spiritual, but where did you get all your ancient spiritual and religious practices from? Stop lying to us, right? Okay, just, just stop it. <laughs> we know that you can't lie to a psychic, okay? Um, but yeah, like, I, I learned a lot from her, right? Some of the best teachers have some of the best students. And at some point, the teacher becomes the student, right? In uh, the other one, so that's one uh, tarot channel um, that I always stuck to, one of the first, and then the other one would be Nicholas Ashbaugh, right? Caucasian dude, right? He reminds me of like, uh, he must be like Roman or something like that, or Greek, because he has like that hair <laughs> that looks like a wreath. Like even my hair. I, I look like I have the black version of that hair right now. <laughs> yeah, so those two are like my spiritual mothers and fathers of the tarot. Like I will never forget them. Of course, I watch like Minnow Pond and Allie. Like, who's going to be the first tarot reader to hit a million subscribers? Allie or uh, Sal uh, over at Eat, Eat, Read, Love? Yeah, we have a whole community here. So let's see. Two of Swords. Mm, 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 mm. Even Esotero. Her readings are crazy. Like, I've never seen a reader. I thought um, the tarot priest had long videos. Um, I even came across a black guy, um, Ken something or something Ken. Interesting readings uh, that I resonated with. Like, I may do oracle messages in the future once, you know, I'm done with the Zodiac. But yeah, even Esotero, like, her videos are like three hour long videos. She just uploaded a video that was like six and a half hours long. And I'm like, who can. But it's a, again, it's a muscle. Your intuition is just like any other muscle. That you build up over time, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. You get, it gets more accurate, right? Um, like again, I can't even all this talking that I'm doing. I can't even fit all this information and channeling in, in a friggin' video under 30 minutes, and my timer is probably gonna go off at 28. Two of Swords, indecision. 
or uh, a lack of vision here, a lack of clarity. We have the Eight of Wands, travel. It reminds me of trying to travel and trying to take vlogs and pictures of a whole lot of stuff, but then you run out of space. Exactly what happens when I try to record long form videos, right? I run out of space, memory, or time, or whatever the case may be. Eight of Cups, detachment, walking away. Hmm. What's the message here, Spirit? In regards to this divine counterpart, we have the Two of Swords, Crossroads, Eight of Wands, Speed, Eight of Cups, Introspection. I think your person wants to meet up. We got the King of Swords. So we do go from the Knight to the King. So, so far we got three Kings out. On top of the Hangman and the King of Pentacles. So someone does well with business contracts that sort of thing maybe they're like um they bring financial advice or some sort of an enlightenment to a group of people we have the ace of wands and the high priestess yeah again it, it reminds me of knighting someone again like i was saying earlier so i'm not sure if you're connecting with some sort of initiate or some sort of a master alchemist or whatever the case may be Queen of Swords, wow, comes out right. I was just talking about Lulu. She's a, uh, a Libra too. Nicholas Ashbaugh is a Libra. All of us are Libras. Like Libras run the world, right? <laughs> Hate to burst your bubble, Earth signs. <laughs> like <laughs> you can always be second best though. It's okay. It's all right. I'm pretty sure you have Libra somewhere in your birth chart. So <laughs> let's see here. The divine counterparts and then around surrounding them we have the hangman king of pentacles the high priestess and the ace of wands so again very talented individuals right? you have your twin flame coming towards you what's the romantic connection as we go through the rest of the reading what's the energetic attachment between you and your person what is your person wanting you to know or what can spirit reveal about this love connection or this relationship the lovers Ask and thou shalt receive, right? We had the King of Swords, Aquarius, the Queen of Swords, Libra, two air signs, high court cards, and then right after that, Gemini comes out here. Right? Gemini is like, don't forget me. Two of Swords. So yeah, a lack of clarity is, again, you don't always want to know the future. You want to leave, um, it's like a woman um, was I going on and on about this in the previous reading about geishas or was it this reading right stop focusing on her sexuality so much um, leave something it's something about the subtleness right like how I always say my favorite body part on a woman is her legs like leave something um, to the imagination here right? you don't have to know the future you don't have to know the outcome of your relationship stop trying to control it and let things blossom, right? If you have to force someone to say, I love you, then that person's not meant for you, right? Because I'm pretty sure they don't have a problem spending your money or telling someone else, I love you, or opening up to someone that they feel comfortable with, right? We have the Four of Wands. Yep, Twin Flame. Wow. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Lovers, and then the Four of Wands. This person may have recently, they left something behind here. I'm not sure if it was a toxic relationship or just bad advice. They're ignoring bad advice. I don't, I mean, this person would have to be a very special person to walk away from legacy and abundance. I remember reading about that two years ago, how this Chinese uh, empress, she was like the next in line to be like the ruler of China if like their dude right now died or whatever the case may be. But like for the sake of love, she wanted to, I think the guy was a doctor. I don't think he was in the army. I think he was a doctor, right? This is like a, 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 yeah, which, you know, if she's an empress, we would look at a doctor as like a regular citizen. But she's like, she loved this guy. So she turned away, um, like her next in line of um, having the power so that she can live a life with this dude that she loved. 
Now, this it, this could be the same thing that's happening here. Maybe your person is disregarding legacy, tradition, or maybe money to be with you here. The Hermit, very admirable. Yeah. Reminds me of a beggar. It, I said it reminds me of a beggar, not that Hermit is a beggar. Because under this cloak, imagine how many pockets are there, right? If you actually research magicians, you'll realize that they have a lot of pockets under those cloaks. How do you think they're able to pull off all those magic tricks? Maybe I shouldn't have told you guys that. 2020, clear vision, right? <laughs> Bringing you the truth. Temperance, another form of balance. Sagittarius energy. Healing, right? A spiritual healer. Someone to heal the mind and the emotions and the spirit. Right? Sagittarius is are known as a life of the party, right? Like I said, the happy-go-lucky teacher. Experience is what matters, right? But it's a spiritual connection here. Yeah, a deep spiritual. So, because the hermit is solitude. That's a spiritual awakening or being a critical deep thinker, right? Thinking is meditation, right? What do you do when you meditate? You think about what's important, right? It's like a calmness of the spirit. You can actually get the downloads that you need. We got the tower card. Yeah. <laughs> The sexuality, the intuition of it all. You know, there's a close connection with you and your person here. You feel each other intuitively. We had two divine counterpart pairs in the pentacles and the swords. The three of swords. Heartbreak. Miscommunication. Not getting enough uh, attention here. So, it, the funny part is we have the three of swords on top of the lovers, right? Maybe they wanted to talk with you more on top of the two of swords. Hmm. Knight of Wands, King of Wands, yeah. They wanting they wanting to see you or wanting to know when you're gonna come see them. <laughs> something like that. Or when the next time you're gonna call them or communicate with them or something like that. Page of Swords. Yeah, they're spying on you. You guys may be connected on the internet. Maybe they have your social media profiles or platforms. A lot of air signs. All the air sign um, uh, high court cards came out at night. And then we had the King and Queen, and now we have the Page. Are you guys dating? Ace of Cups, 2222. Twin Flames, collaborations, balance, peace, synergy, all that type of stuff. While I'm holding the Ace of Cups, this new love offer. This person holds your love sacred here. Mm -hmm. They actually feel it, right? I mean, some you, they say you can't really prove love, but this person is literally holding love, the feeling of love uh, in their hands for you. I guess it's kind of like when people say they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. The sun card, yeah, they feel complete joy and happiness, positivity. You may bring out youthful energy in this person, make this person smile. They could possibly want to have a child with you as well. Yeah, mixing and matching of the fluids here with temperance, right? Man and woman fluids. <laughs> they want to have a child with you. They want it. The, the temperance also for me is an alchemist. It's a scientist, right? They want it to, again, mix and match with you. They want to get the, the potion right, the love potion. They want this love connection to blossom the way that it should the eight of swords yeah they think about this a lot mm -hmm. anxiety the tower card yeah they, they, they definitely think about this a lot they're possibly manifesting this as well right this could be like a childhood dream of theirs or maybe you turned this person on in a specific sort of way and yeah they may very well I mean a way through a man's a way to a man's heart is through a stomach so this could be a woman that cooked for um if you're a masculine this could be a woman that that cooked or wants to cook for you spell work right every time you see a witch what is she doing she has a cauldron with her right cooking right something feminine right um and who knows yeah you know some people put all types of stuff in people food but just the simple act of cooking for a man can make a man fall in love that's how my ex got me <laughs> so um yeah, let me get it. could be any number of things. Candle work. It could be a sample, right? Maybe there was sex, and then they, you cut off the sex. 
like, yeah, this is what you could have if we were to get in a relationship or be married. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at the five bottom cards before we close out the message. We already know we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Five of Swords, Six of Wands. Someone wants a victorious moment with you, opening up a new cycle. They may be traveling towards you, the World card. They may even want to learn something from you here. Page of Wands. They're curious, curious sexually. Maybe they want. They, maybe they want to know what you like sexually. Seven of Pentacles. That's the whole. That, that's would be the whole another reason or purpose for a foreplay, though, right? To know or to learn what your person likes sexually. Someone reads romance novels or gets off on romance novels as well. Like, what if women? Because they hate. Because we can't do nothing as men. Like, we can't watch porn. Like, we, 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 those guys that get sex dolls, they get picked at for having sex dolls. Although women have closet fulls of those things and under their bed, it's probably no space, right? But what if a guy, would a guy get hated on if he, like, if he had a library full of romance novels? <laughs> like, at least you have something to do when you come to my house. You can read, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, very interesting read. We got the High Priestess, Cancer, the Tower, Scorpio, the Sun, Leo, Temperance, Sagittarius, the Hangman, more Pisces, Energy, the Hermit, Virgo. Yeah. Very intuitive. Very happy, very precise. Someone knows what they want in a relationship. They've been focusing and meditating on it, trying to manifest it. And then divine counterparts show up. King and queen in the ace and a pinnacle suit. Two aces, ace of wands and ace of cups. This is the chemistry, the actual love and the sex passion. And then we have the Page of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Wands. So again, they're tr they're spying on you, trying to learn what you like. Um, they're maturing, and then they're gonna come after you passionately. Oh, the Lovers is here as well. So your soulmate, a divine counterpart connection, right? They know that you are their person, right? So they're gonna put in the time, the energy, and the effort to get to know you, right? That is what I have for you here today, Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Toro. Catch you guys, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Maybe a person is nervous. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. The Twin Flame.